Uh, hello, YouTube. Back once again with my iZombie reviews. Um, sorry I didn't. I missed episode two. I was busy, and sorry this is pretty. This is a few days like this next episode review. But so before that, before I get to go into episode three, let me just quickly say what I thought about episode two. Uh, Zombie Bro, I thought this was a good episode, not a great episode. Um, I thought the brain she ate it was a bit too obvious with the humor uh the vo the f i was getting really annoyed i was mainly annoyed by the voice of uh, rose mckiva did i was just like okay this is getting too obvious when she just does like kind of like an annoying like te like uh college boys voice i was like okay this is getting annoying um but 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 there was still a few good lines. Um, uh, all the stuff I loved all the stuff with Robbie and Major. Uh, uh, I love the I also love the fact that shows like how of a destroyed person Major is gang for the fact he is being forced to kill people. Um, and now he's becoming a drug addict. But I, I also I love to see when they're party when they both get high with each other, especially when they're on the cab later uh, later and then uh, with Liv and then just and then Robbie's like yes yes we are bros Liv you're my bro and Major you're my bro I thought that was really funny that then just when Major breaks down Liv and just and then but then when he's sober refuses to see her I thought that was really effectively dark but uh, yeah so but besides that was a pretty just. Average episode, decent, uh, not the best, not the worst. Um, but now you here we are with episode three, Real Dead Housewives of Seattle. I mean, Housewife of Seattle. Um, uh, this, so oh, this was, uh, this was actually a pretty great episode, this one. Um, a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff happens. Um, it starts off as what seems to be a pretty average, uh, case of the week thing, uh, but the brain Liv eats when she eats, like, I don't, what, what's the word, pompous? I don't know, like, very, like, snoodly rich, I, I don't know what that's, I'm good, whatever the word is, when she eats the brain of that, and Rose McKiva seemed to be having a lot of fun this episode, doing the, uh, eating that brain, just always saying literally, just, I thought that was funny, um, thought that was really funny. Then I also like the fact that they tied in Max Rager, Max Rager into this week, uh, uh, this week's murder plot when, um, when, uh, when, like, the CEO is connected to it and, uh, is connected to the murder and, uh, and I will say that the scene where me, when Liv's confronting the CEO and then just says, I am not your little horn, then just throws a glass of water. I thought that was freaking hilarious. That and then, then, then Liv also learned that Major's working at uh, Max Rager. I don't know how he's aware, she's aware of that, but not aware her roommate works there. And, um, and oh, I just love the line just when. When just like when Major just gives the excuse like look look I I just need to do this for money I I need the money and then like and then and then uh and then just lives like you know who's following orders so were Nazis were following orders I thought that was really funny even though yeah we've heard that before and so all the humor in this episode was really great and um. Like here was really great. I also really love the really love the scene when uh, Liv is about to like rant to Robbie and like and then and then she's like you don't have to listen. Just like oh okay good. And then she just comes back and then just how miserable Robbie looks as she he just had to listen to her rant. But then uh, as far as characters go, uh, Peyton returns this episode and boy how little did I care. Um, God, not my favorite character of I Zombie. Think I'd say besides Liv family, she's the worst character of the show. Um. Yeah, I would say that, and, uh, uh, but, uh, I love the, I, I did think that was a clever piece of writing when Liv's like, were you sad that, like, she left you too, and then, uh, when Liv says that to Robbie, and Robbie's like, yeah, we only really dated in a few weeks, eh, kind of sad, first moved on pretty fast, I thought that was pretty clever, um, but there's that, and, uh, and, uh, the ending, I, I did, th and I did think, though, the ending was really nice, though, just when you saw that, that even though she did not meet, uh, that she has forgiven Liv, I thought that felt very nice and warm. I really needed that, considering how much lo Liv's life is, like, kind of in the gutter at the moment, so, um, that was nice to see, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, that, and then you also learn that Max Rager, Rager is still working on their zombie formula. I thought that was really effective, uh, instead of making the zombies the way that they are in Seattle, kind of, like, mentally functional people with white hair. Their zombies seem to look more like classic, like, George Romero-looking zombies. So, uh, if this is not a season does not end with a giant zombie attack, I'm gonna be really bummed out, but, uh, 
Yeah, but so I can say is a great episode by Zombie. Good humor, um, good humor, uh, good story development, and uh, yeah, and uh, it does some for some pretty heartfelt moments with Liv. So uh, good, great episode. Uh, YouTube as always. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.